in this most unusual of times, I welcome you to St Matthew's, to our festival of lessons and carols. We hope you will find comfort and joy in this our gift to you, wherever you may be and in whatever circumstances you may be in. We come together as the family of God in our Father's presence to celebrate the great festival of Christmas. In this service we hear and receive the good news of the birth of Christ and we offer to God our thanksgiving in the joyful singing of carols. As we gather together in the name of Christ, we pray. We pray for the world he came to save. For the church, that it may be enabled in our generation to surrender anew to God's holy wisdom and bear the good news of God's love to a needy world. For the world which is already Christ's, that all its peoples may recognise their responsibility for its future and may be inspired by the message of Christmas to work together for the establishment of justice, freedom and peace everywhere. For all in special need, the sick, the anxious, the lonely, the fearful and the bereaved, that the peace and light of Christ, the peace and light of the Christ child, may bring hope and healing to all who sit in darkness. We commend all whom we love or who have asked for our prayers to the unfailing mercy of our Heavenly Father and say together, as Christ himself taught us, Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive them that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen.
Christ's birth and kingdom are foretold by Isaiah. The people who walked in darkness have seen a great light. Those who lived in a land of deep darkness, on them light has shined. For a child has been born for us, a son given to us. Authority rests upon his shoulders, and he shall be named Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. His authority shall grow continually, and there shall be endless peace. For the throne of David and his kingdom, he will establish and uphold it with justice and with righteousness. From this time onward and forevermore, the zeal of the Lord of hosts will do this. Thanks be to God. Second lesson, the angel Gabriel salutes the Virgin Mary. In the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent by God to a town in Galilee called Nazareth, to a virgin engaged to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David. 
The virgin's name was Mary. And he came to her and said, Greetings, favoured one, the Lord is with you. But she was much perplexed by his words and wondered what sort of greeting this might be. The angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favour with God. And now you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you will name him Jesus. He will be great, and will be called the Son of the Most High, and the Lord God will give to him the throne of his ancestor David. He will reign over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there will be no end. Mary said to the angel, How can this be, since I am a virgin? The angel said to her, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore the child to be born will be holy. He will be called Son of God. Thanks be to God.
lesson. St Luke tells of the birth of Jesus. In those days a decree went out from Emperor Augustus that all the world should be registered. This was the first registration and was taken while Quirinus was governor of Syria. All went to their own towns to be registered. Joseph also went from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea, to the city of David called Bethlehem, because he was descended from the house and family of David. He went to be registered with Mary, to whom he was engaged and was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for her to deliver her child and she gave birth to her firstborn son and wrapped him in bands of cloth and laid him in a manger because there was no place for them in the inn. Thanks be to God.
John unfolds the great mystery of the Incarnation. In the beginning was a Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things came into being through him, and without him not one thing came into being. What has come into being in him was life, and the life was a light of all people. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness did not overcome it. There was a man sent from God whose name was John. He came as a witness to testify to the light, so that all might believe through him. He himself was not the light, but he came to testify to the light. The true light, which enlightens everyone, was coming into the world. He was in the world, and the world came into being through him. Yet the world did not know him. He came to what was his own, and his own people did not accept him. But to all who received him, who believed in his name, he gave power to become children of God, who were born not of blood, or of the will of the flesh, or of the will of man, but of God. And the word became flesh, and lived among us, and we have seen his glory, the glory as of a father's only son, full of grace and truth. Thank you to our augmented uh, St. Matthew's Choir for leading us with such wonderful Christmas music and also for our readers telling us again uh, the story of God's salvation plan. And at the end of that story we hear again the great story of Christmas about Mary and Joseph, about shepherds, about innkeepers, and especially about angels. Angels appear throughout the Bible story, and especially, of course, as we come to the New Testament. First of all, the angel Gabriel says to Mary, I am Gabriel. I stand in the presence of God, and I have been sent to tell you this great news. And later in the story, as Jesus has been born, the angels come to the shepherds out there on the hillsides. All the glory of God is present in that sky. And they say, we bring you glad tidings of great joy for all people. Today, a savior has been born to you. He is Christ the Lord. Now, I don't know what you think about angels. Earlier in the week, we had a year from St. Matthew's School come to help us in telling the Nativity story for our Christingle service. 
And it's always such a joy and a delight to see all the children dressed up, and particularly those angels surrounding Mary and Joseph and the shepherds. But you know, whenever angels appear in the Bible story, us human beings are afraid, terrified. Mary and the shepherds. And the first thing the angels have to say to them is, don't be afraid, for we come to bring good news of what God is doing. But it's not surprising that we're terrified, for the angels live in the very presence of God. They worship about God's throne. And therefore, when they come to us, that glory and majesty of God is seen as well. Do not be afraid, though, say the angels, because we bring you good news of comfort and joy. Later on in the story of Jesus, angels appear again. When Jesus is facing his own death, when he knows that he must die in order that we humans might have light and life and salvation, Jesus prayed in the Garden of Gethsemane. And he said to his father, if it is possible, let this pass from me, yet not my will, but yours be done. He wrestled with what he had to do, but we're told that angels came to minister to him, to strengthen him. And again, after his death, and on the day of his resurrection, when he brought victory over death and sin, it is the angels who come to announce to the distraught Mary and the rest of the disciples, do not be afraid, he is risen. Good news to all humankind. So, during this last year, it has been a mixed year for us all. For some, it has been very difficult, perhaps through bereavement, perhaps through all the stresses and strains that this year has brought. And we don't know what is going to happen in the future, although, of course, we have hope that we will be able to lead our normal lives again. But whenever we are feeling anxious or afraid, the angels say to us, do not be afraid. God is with you. And we remember the name that Jesus was given of Emmanuel. And Emmanuel means God is with us. So let us continue at this Christmas time to rejoice and praise God with the angels in heaven and with Mary and Joseph and with those shepherds and with all God's disciples both then and now. For unto us is born a Saviour, Christ the Lord. God bless you all. Amen. And now the blessing. The Lord bless you and watch over you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord look kindly on you and give you peace. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be upon you and those you love today and always. Amen. There now follows live on Zoom, commencing at 8.15 p.m., that is on Saturday the 19th of December. The Zoom code is on our website. It promises to be an hour of mulled wine and mince pies, or beverages of your own choosing, and fun and laughter. God bless you. <laughs>